everybody. Uh, it's December 28th, the middle of the day, and I want to take a look at the long-term charts on Tesla because, as we know, Tesla's been screaming down to the bottom of a uh, uh, huge downtrend, and people are crowing about this because Elon Musk is currently in the doghouse for his political uh, shift in Twitter and some other reasons and basic envy and so forth. Uh, and uh, Tesla's taking a hit um, for various reasons, uh, new, uh, new competitors and so forth. Uh, but these long-term charts are kind of interesting because they show us uh, that things don't go on forever. They don't go down forever. Things look very dark before the dawn. And let's take a look at where resistance might come in. And the first thing we see is that on the monthly, we're stopping in the further out and we're stopping at a currently anyway we will see if it stops there at a higher time period support level which is the envelope bottom on the yearly and we'll take a look at that in a second uh, we're seeing a hold on the currently and the weekly in the um, uh, nearby which is a sign of exhaust and the daily we're seeing the very faintest earliest possible beginnings of uh, the market holding. So does that mean that we're done? No, not necessarily, but let's just take a look at where we are in the longer term. What interests me is that we're approaching the target area on the quarterly and yearly. On the, tar on the, on, on the quarterly, you see that we're at the yearly envelope bottom. And on the yearly chart, interestingly enough, yes, we're at the yearly envelope bottom, but we're also at the 5.9 up which as you see is that little brown dot right in there, uh, which is traditionally uh, and conventionally and very frequently also a pretty uh, strong level of support. And also you see the 5.9 extension. It's not that far away. Um, we, we certainly wouldn't want to necessarily see things go there if you're a Tesla fan. Uh, but uh, the, f the point I'm trying to make right now is that we're in a, t a we're in a target area. Tesla has reached its target area here, at least a target area conventionally speaking, and that's of interest to us. And so let's just kind of keep an eye on this and if, see if this holds or not. Uh, but it's interesting to me because we've come down a long way, very, very fast, uh, broken through some very key levels of support, and now we're at a target area on the longer term charts and the quarterly and the yearly. Uh, so let's just take a look at this, keep our eye on this. Uh, with this uh, this target area down in here and uh, particularly in the yearly chart uh, right in here. Let's just keep an eye on this. Is this a place to take action? No, no, no. We're a long way away from having a buy signal here, but we could be getting, we could be getting into an area where we'll see the end of the downflow. So let's just, this is an alert, right? It's something I want to put on my radar screen and watch. So that's, uh, that's all we got on Tesla.